Welcome! We are Two Finger Spirits. We've got the camera shy camera guy over here. Live studio audience. Woo. And today we're going to give you something special. Two for one. Whoa. Balconies Baby Blue All and right. Balconies Brimstone. I hope it doesn't taste like sulfur. I don't know. That's what brimstone is, isn't it? I have no idea. It's all so over So tell me about this Balconies Baby Blue Distillery. It's in Waco, Texas. Oh, yeah? They claim to be the first Texas um, distillery since Prohibition. I don't know if that's true. I feel like there's been Texas whiskey around. Oh, who knows? Maybe they are. Who knows? I think they've only been around for six years. I feel like I've had Texas whiskey. But what, what the hell do I know? Um, Waco, Texas. This goes for about $45. I believe it's Mashville's 100% uh, roasted blue corn. So blue corn. You ever had those blue chips? Yeah. 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 Like the blue chips. I never get the blue chips at the casino somehow, though. I don't get any chips. Oh. I, and you, so it's... Corn whiskey doesn't have to be aged the way bourbon whiskey does or rye whiskey does. It can all it, it, it can be in like a, a used barrel and this is in fact in used oak barrels but the unique thing about them is that the barrels are five gallon barrels really yeah five gallon that sounds like so much work yeah right so uh and then i uh also read that it's aged for at least six months and then on the bottle says aged for at least 12 months so, so it's 92 proof and what do you say we do your favorite segment? We should probably talk about the color. Let's talk at length about the color. Yeah, I'm going to. All right, here we go. We have a very, very light color here. Vegetable would, oil. Like a vegetable oil, you're right. All right, well, it looks like it's the Brandon show. Let's taste it. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's smell this thing. I don't love the way these glasses spin. No, me either. But I like how they look. I have to say, this is a very pleasant nose. It's sweet. It is. A, it's a sweet nose. It's corn. Lots of corn. That's all. I, I think have. vanilla is the prevailing n n nose, though. I barely even get any oak on it. I get a light oak, but I definitely get strong vanilla and really sweet corn. Like, mm. all right, I'm going for it. Hmm. Mm. Wow, that is very cool. That's vanilla, like straight up vanilla with really sweet corn. I get that uh, box Betty Crocker yellow cake. Yes, I could, I could you taste get that. that. I could taste that. And some fruit, like berry fruit maybe, and a little bit of leather. And then the finish goes with a little bit of leather Vanilla and leather fading into like a, a dusty corn. The finish like is the awesome. Husk. It's a medium length finish. The finish is awesome. I feel like the finish is short. I feel it like fades it's into like an oak. Awesome. awesome. What do you yeah. like about it then? The, the, just the way that it goes from the exactly what you said, like the cake tasting into a vanilla finish. The finish I have to say is awesome. I don't. I'm not crazy about the palate. I have to be honest. It, I think the nose is great. I think the palate is is decent at best. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's but the so finish is good. It's just so different than anything we've ever had that it's almost jarring and hard to understand in the context of it being a whiskey. So you got to take it for what it is. I wonder if this is more of a uh, like an acquired taste because I could see why people would like it. It's not the profile that I prefer, and it's not going to be for everyone. I gotta tell you what though, the finish is excellent. Really? I really, truly enjoy the finish on this. The rest of it, man. Mm. It's got a nice mouthfeel. It's viscous, especially for something so young. So what do you think? Um, keep it in stock? No, don't. I don't think I keep it in stock. The legs are wild on it. But uh, I, man, I could see myself maybe buying it again Interesting. Yeah, it's decent. So, um, I, I want to say before we go on to the other one, you know, 
I would not buy this again. Okay. But I absolutely love the 100 proof Balcones rye, which is also has a, a, a unique Very rye unique. profile. And sometimes I love that rye and sometimes I really don't like so it. So that's what I will buy again. This when, one I won't. This one just doesn't have the. You profile. bought that Balcones rye like four or five times I now. Have. I have. I'll post that video at the end of this one too. Um, yeah, and this one I have disliked, and now today I'm liking it. So it's it's very strange. Balcones puts out very strange things because they're well, not what I you expect. They're strange. They're, I think they're innovative. They're unique. They're innovative. Yeah, that that's a way better way of saying. And it. what that that innovation and that the unique. The uniqueness yeah. really gets me to buy them because I want to try different things. Brimstone, huh? 100% blue corn, just like the baby blue. So we're thinking this is the same mash bill. It is the same mash bill, right? 100% blue corn, that's 100% blue corn, right? So in theory. Let me uh, give you a nice pour there. Oh, good. I'm so excited. Huh? So th what's interesting about this, you know, we have to approach this a little differently than we approach everything because we're, we're expecting like your typical whiskey. This is, we gotta go back, this is innovative. This is scrub oak. It's smoked with scrub oak. Now, I don't know what scrub oak is. It's uh, like a it shrub. Up. It's like a shrub. It's in the beach family. Also called like bear oak. Bear oak, yeah, at B-E-A-R. And do you wanna know how you identify a shrub oak? <laughs> You know, by the way it is. Right, yeah, by the way it is, absolutely. Yeah. All right, so you know what? So this is done in new char oak barrels. For how long? A day. At, at least, least a day. At least one day. So that's what it says on the bottle, that it's only in, in the barrel for at least one day. The Whiskey Tribe did the video on Texas whiskeys, and they talk about how quickly whiskeys age down in that hot climate. But I think a day yeah. is... Uh, it's almost like we're doing it to do it. This is 106 proof, non-chill filter, okay. natural color. I got it for, uh, MSRP is 50. I think I got it closer to 60, 65 for some reason. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to talk about the color. Have I? So uh, here I go. It's got an orange hue. It's definitely like a dark copper. I don't know. This is a, it's a beautiful dark color. Yeah, it is nice and dark. It's got an orange hue to it. It's definitely got a copper to it. I think we should taste it. Oh, you want to taste it? I, I, could, I, could, I could talk about the color all day. But you don't sound as good as me. See, this just spins way better than those other glasses. Yeah, the Glen Karen is a great spinning glass. That and the Blender's glass is awesome for spinning. Mm -hmm. That mesquite is just like, wow. And you and I, we love Isla Scotches, right? I love Isla Scotch. You love Isla Scotch. This That's what sold me on this, seeing that this was, you know, smoked, and it's nothing like an Isla Scotch. No, this smells nothing. This smells like you're at a barbecue outside, and I smell a barbecue. Uh, those mesquite-flavored uh, potato chips. Yes. Right? It's like, it smells like that. barbecue ribs, and a little floral. But do you get any meat? Because you say ribs, but it's just the... I don't, it smells like smoking ribs. Really? So you get the rib portion of it as right. well. Okay. Right. I, I don't pick up on that, and I was kind of hoping I would. That, it's an incredible, incredible nose. Mesquite, herbal, floral, floral some cocoa, All right. and, and a little bit of brininess for some reason. Mm, I'm getting that. I'm going for it. That is different. But keep in mind we are approaching this as a scrub oak smoked whiskey. Cocoa on the palate. Honey roasted nuts, but not peanuts. Like honey roasted almonds, I think. Earthy. And then very light mesquite. Compared to the nose, I think. No, I feel like it, it goes into a finish of heady mesquite. Well, I'm talking about the palate. Yeah. The finish, yeah, it does. I'm have not getting any mesquite on the palate. You're right. It's like. Right. You but the finish eating. goes to mesquite at the end. At, at the beginning of the finish, it's more of a earthiness, some cocoa, mm. some smoke, and then really fades into the mesquite. Heavy into mesquite. Like I just ate a, a plate of smoked ribs. And right. Right. 
I'm like licking my lips. That's that's legit finish on this. And it's a long finish. That mesquite lasts. It's still lingering. You know, because this was I thought was short. I'm still having the mesquite. I thought the baby blue was a medium. This one is pushing long. Did I mention that the Whiskey Tribe did a video? Oh, yeah, 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 that's a cool video. Check that out. Um, so this is a corn whiskey. Huh? I have to say, I think the the nose is incredible. It's something that you have to experience. I don't love the palette, but I love the finish of this one too. I think it's really, really interesting. Keep in mind, it's not our typical whiskey which i think i said about 14 times now yeah neither the, of these are typical the other rye that they make is not typical. right so if you're coming to this expecting like your your typical whiskeys right it's completely different do they even put out a bourbon i don't i want to say they do really i have no idea i don't know Look i do up. want to try the lineage that they put out which is a, a texas single mall that'll right. be interesting I, I did you say you think pete from the american whiskey i want to say he that? has it no <laughs> I'll tell you, I would try another offering. Like, I won't buy either of these two again. You're but right. I would try another offering by them. I would definitely. And I'll definitely buy the, the Balcones Rye again. Yeah, you've bought tons of those. Yeah. You, you, you've turned a lot of people onto those. You know what? I'm very, very persuasive, I guess. Uh, I oh, I you're, you're an influencer. I guess. Or you know, people probably want to under be, the influence, I guess. More. Everyone wants to be just like the camera guy. Yeah. Shy like me. Lovely locks. Yeah, glasses. You ever been in a corn maze? Yeah. Isn't that kind of redundant? Cause they could technically call it a maze maze, right? <laughs> oh. uh, so would you keep it in stock? No, no. Um, but I would try another offering. I think I would. I would buy it again, but not keep it. I'd buy both of them again. I wouldn't keep them both in stock regularly, though. I am very happy that we've tried both of them because this is an experience I can go to like a party now and talk about this. Like, hey, have you ever tried something really different? And it's a great conversation starter. That's, that's what you're gonna do at a dinner party. You're uh, one hell of a dinosaurist, huh? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> um, how about a quote? I don't have one. Then I'll come up with one. Speak softly, but carry a big stick. Who said it? I don't know. Come on, really? Who? Ben Franklin? Teddy Roosevelt. I was about to say that. Everybody, we really appreciate your support. Listening to us ramble on about whiskey. Uh, it means the world to us, each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out our uh, social social media, right? Facebook. Yeah. We're on TikTok. I didn't even know that. Yeah, you didn't even know that, did you? I'm the one that takes the videos. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers.